Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Buddha. Um, these are some pictures of a 1933 uh, Model A pickup truck that I seen on Craigslist for $600 of best offer. Um, I caught the guy on it and uh, he had already sold it, but uh, it was a project that I was going to grab up because it has a flathead V8 in it. And um, I thought it would have been a cool project to uh, put back together. Um, I wasn't really interested in hot rodding it out. I was just going to put it back together and, uh, and drive the truck the way it was. I just thought it would be really cool to own. He had everything for it. Um, it still had the original spoke wheels and stuff. And uh, the body looked really clean to me didn't look like it was all rotted up that much I do see a lot of surface rust here and there but the doors were solid here's the picture of the inside of the doors the side by side right here or not side by side on top in front of each other but another picture you can see um, where he has the doors laid down beside the truck and you can see that the bottoms are all solid also uh, here in the firewall uh, right here's the picture of the door sideways you see the bottoms are totally straight and there's no rust on them. There's a picture of that flathead uh, V8 sitting inside the, the frame rail. Um, again, here's a picture of the doors. The bottoms are nice and straight. Um, some real nice solid doors. Um, the whole projects look really solid. Here's the, the truck on blocks. Um, had all the wagon wheels still on it. The spoke wheels. Mo he had the motor transmission, everything father truck. Here's the, the original grill. Um, I didn't see any radiator. Um, his his barn had caught fire and he was selling this truck again for $600 of best offer. Look at that firewall. It's nice and clean. Um, would have been a really cool project to like uh, sandblast down or whatever like that and give it a quick uh, paint job probably blacked it back out um, I looked at a couple of the trucks though the green and black looks pretty cool and so doesn't the red and black uh, I think I've seen them in like beige and black before um, but I just thought it would have been really cool look how clean this cab is uh, that surface rust on the roof and again you can put that they put the uh, vinyl roofs on the top and uh, I can see there's a roof right here in this picture you can see there's some kind of roof structure probably a metal roof um, some people make a convertible pickup truck out of them I mean uh, if you wanted to make a, a hot rod out of it it'd be really cool too but I, I was just thinking about putting it back together the way it was and uh, using it as an in-town truck um, I looked online about driving something like this as a daily driver, but that's what they did back in the day. This was the daily driver, so I don't see it being a problem. Um, I don't know how the the um, unleaded gas would would go in the motor, but um, people still drive these these vehicles, and uh, I've been online and seen some people do still drive these as daily drivers to go to work and back and stuff like that. Um, but $600, I actually have somebody that asked me when I worked at the motorcycle shop, restore motorcycles for this guy that had, um, he had a private collection of over 200 motorcycles, and I was restoring some of his motorcycles and getting some of his motorcycles up and running and stuff like that, and, um, one of his employees that was in a receptionist, her son was looking for a Ford pickup truck, uh, a Model A. And uh, I was thinking about also that I'd park, buy this, put it on my trailer, and possibly swing by the shop and, uh, you know, see what kind of offers he would give me for it. Uh, in this rough shape that this is in, but this looks really solid to me. I would think this truck was close to 3000 bucks. I did some research a couple weeks ago on it, um, and that's what I think 
that I was seeing that this truck was worth around three grand in its current state. Um, again, this is a V8 flathead truck, and it to me it is a, it's just about a complete truck. Um, you can see the drive shaft. Uh, you can see there he had the steering column in the truck. Um, he has the rear end here. You can see he has the fender wells in the back of the truck, the grill, both doors right there, the heads for the um, for the motor right beside the door. Um, he's got an exhaust system right there, um, and you just you know he's got a really nice clean bed for the truck, fender wells. Uh, you just look around these pitches and stuff like that, you get to see more and more. These rims would clean up really nice. Again, there's this burnt up barn right there to the left, and you can see the burnt up tire still on the truck, on the trailer. Um, so, I think this was a really nice truck that just happened to, you know, to get caught up in a barn fire. Uh, here's the truck right here. I mean, if you really wander your eyes around it, it's pretty clean. And uh, I think some of that white stuff is uh, probably a fire extinguisher putting it out, or probably a, a rust oleum. I mean, not a rust oleum, a, a rust preventer. But Cape Carcuda signing out. I just wanted to share um, these pictures because I had mentioned it in that other Model A uh, video that I had shot that I'm going to be posting up. So I just wanted to post these pictures so you knew what I was talking about, that I seen this truck for, for 600 bucks the best offer. Cape Carcuda signing out. Thanks for watching.